Okay, now uh, what we're gonna do is something like this. I am feeling one time the sound is coming. Sound, sound is coming. Okay, now <clears throat> coming to your copy, guys. Right, coming into your copy. Right, coming into your copy. What do you mean by copy, guys? I have told you three things about the copy. Copy, normally people will tell two things, but there are like three things, guys. Right, so what are the three things you have it in a copy, guys? What are the three things you have it in a copy? First one is reference copy. Second one is shallow copy. Shallow copy. Third one is deep copy. You know? What is this? Three copies are there. What do you mean by shallow copy? Reference copy. Reference copy, what people will tell is something like this case. For a reference copy, people will tell shallow copy. For shallow copy, they will tell deep copy. But it is not like that, right? So you have reference copy, you have shallow copy, and you have what? Deep copy. Uh, what do you mean by reference copy? There is a reference now, right? So just a reference thing. What is a reference thing? For example, uh, you know, like, uh, uh, what do you tell it? You will write one answer, right? You will write one answer. And then for the next answer, you have the same answer. Then what will you do it? Refer, uh, refer the previous one, right? Refer the previous one. What are you doing it? You are referring to the same thing, right? That is what the reference copy is. For example, I'll come here and I will tell us something like this. A equals to 10, I will tell it, right? A equals to 10, I will tell it. And I will tell us B is equal to 10, I will tell it, right? Now I'll just tell us like this. Uh, ID of A, ID of A, ID of A and ID of B is one and the same guys. Though the variables are different, this, this is one and the same. How it is actually be designed it now? For example, it is something like this. There is an object called as 10. Int is, a, int is also an object. There is an object called as 10. I have an address called as 1000. Both A and B is pointing to the same thing. Now what I'm going to do is, in the next line, I will tell B is equal to 20. I will tell it. In the next line, I will just tell that B is equal to 20 now. Now what happens, there is an object called as 20 and I have it called as 2000 and that is nothing but what? Now this becomes different one, right? So what in Python they have designed is if it is the same value, if it is the same value, I'll be pointing to the same object. So that is how the memory management is happening, happening onto it. For example, B is equal to 20. I will tell it when I tell ID of B, I'm changing the data. I'm changing the ID of it, right? Where ID of A remains the same thing. Not only so much guys, not only so much. There are like many things in the reference copy. For example, A is equals to, I'll just tell it as, 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 or 5 I will tell it right uh, 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 A is equals to what I will do it 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 I will tell it and I will tell it has B is equals to A I will tell it right B is equals to A I will tell it. and this is also example for the reference copy what happens in the reference copy is something like this case if I make a changes in A it will affect to B also if I make a change by B it will affect to A also for example I will have like this for example if I tell us B dot append append I will tell it as 90 if I tell it as 90 b is also affecting it and whereas a is also getting affecting it why it is like that because id of a and id of b is one and the same thing right? if i tell us a dot append also i'll just tell us 80 if i tell it and both the things are getting affected right both the things are getting affected and this is called as what reference copy any queries in the reference copy guys any queries guys once motivation guys please as once everyone, everyone wants motivation. I need it very much. Okay, so I have appended 90 and when I tell A, this is nothing but what? 90 I have appended at the last, right? No, normal A, A will get affected. Reference copy also get affected. Now, if I tell it as shallow copy, what will happen now? In shallow copy, it is not affected. Why it is not affected? Because ID of A is like this. ID of R is same thing. And ID of S is different thing, guys. Right? And one thing you need to know about this, one thing you need to know about it, there is something called as a list inside a list. I have written it here, right? This one's ID and this one's ID is one the same. For example, if I tell it has 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, A, ID of, ID of, A of 4. This is the, this is the attached bathroom, right? 
ID of A of 4 and ID of S of 4 is one of the same thing. ID of A of 4 and ID of S of 4 is one of the same thing, guys. Now, according to this one, if I tell it as A of 4, A of 4 dot F and if I tell it, and if I tell it as like 100 here, it is getting affected to all the side. A is also the same thing, R is also the same thing, S is also the same thing. Look on here. Now this is getting affected. I told you right in the attached attach attached room. What will happen now? If you get if you get some something, it will affect to everywhere. Both the side will get affected. And this concept is called as what shallow copy. Anywhere else, it will not get affected. If it is in the list, in the list, it will get affected. The block diagram of this one is something like this, guys. I'll just show you the block diagram of this one. How this the block diagram is like this, something like this. Look on here. I'll tell you the block diagram of this one. The block diagram of this one, something lies like this, for example, uh, like this. One is there, two is there, three is there, four is there, and 100, 100 I will not, 1000 I will tell it, 1000 I will tell it, and 90 I will tell it. Here I am writing what address I will tell it. So that we will get to know about it, right? So I'll tell it as like this. This is the object, guys. This is what? A object. What is the object address? Let me tell it as 1000 itself. And this one's name is what? A is also there, same thing. R is also nothing but same thing. R is also same thing. Right? Now, what is S, guys? What is S now? S is different thing. For example, like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, and I'll tell it as 90. And for that address, I'll tell it. What I'll, I'll do it. Something like this. Right? This is what the data is. Right? Like this. And this is what the address of shallow copy is. For example, uh, here, sorry, here 90 won't be there. 90 will be the, there only for that one, right? That is the thing of shallow copy, right? Like this, and I'll tell it as 2000, and this is nothing but S here, right? Now you have something in between here common. I'll just tell it as like this. What is this one now here? Uh, five, six, seven hundred, right? Five, six, seven hundred, right? And this object is nothing but what? Thousand. This object is nothing but what? 1000. And if I tell us like this, 1000, like this, 1000. Now, this is like what? Attach button. This is also pointing here, and this is also pointing here. Right? And this all has an indexing 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And this one has minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. And you know about the indexing 0, 1, 2, 3, and minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, and minus 4. This also 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, and minus 6. Right? And this is nothing but what? Your shallow copy diagram. Right? Now look on here. Look on here. If you change, look on here. It's a very simple thing. If you change according to A, normally if you tell it as A dot append, it will get affected to here. That means it is getting affected to R. Why? Because A and R is pointing to the same reference ID. Right? Whereas if I change it according to the S, it will affect to only S. It will not affect to A. But if I affect it here, if I write it something here, for example, S of 4 uh, dot append, if I tell it something here, if I affect something here, it will both both the set will get it affected. Why? Because it is sharing the same address. And this concept is called as what? Shallow copy. Tick down. Now, what do you mean by deep copy? Simple thing. So you also have one special bathroom, washroom, and uh, your uh, sibling also having a right a different washroom that means you are copying from the depth right where has where has when you copy it normally when you copy it it will only copy this data right deep copy means it will go inside the depth and it will copy this one also depth 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 in the depth it will go and copy it right that is what the deep copy is for example to do the deep copy you need to import deep copy there is a, a library called as deep copy mm. Mm. not library uh, there is a there is a there is a library called as copy itself. Okay, so you need to import the copy and then uh, in that uh, we need to access the deep copy. That's 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 the only thing which you need to do. For example, I'll show it now. Hmm. It's enough here now. You will get a perfect example for this one now. Now, what I need to do it to do deep copy. I want to use a keyword called as import. I want to use it what copy I want to import it import copy now in this copy you have something like this copy mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. 
I want to tell it as what, what, what I want to tell it. Okay, deep copy D is equals to, I'll just tell it as uh, copy dot deep copy. What I want to copy it now. Look on here, guys, there is a functionality here. I'll just need to show, show that one. Wait a second. I'll just uh, uh, move the screen a little bit up and I will, I'll show you the formats. Look on here, guys. I want, I want to copy this nil and that this everything is there, but I wanted to have only this one, right? I want to copy this A, right? Now there is a A, I will copy this A, for example, like this. I'm copying the D, right? Into the D, there is a deep copy. Now I'll show you all the data. A is like this, reference copy is like this, shallow copy is like this, deep copy is like this. This is the original data you have it. This is what the original data you have it. This is what the reference copy you have it. This is what the shallow copy you have it. This is what the deep copy you have it, right? Now, if I tell the ID of A and R is one of the same, yes or no? ID of A and R is one of the same, but ID of S is differing, right? ID of S is differing, but ID of this one, ID of this one, ID of uh, this one, and ID of this one is one and the same. Till here, the ID of this, this three things is one Ooh. and the same. But ID of this one will be different. It is copying from the depth. For example, if I tell it has one more one more thing, I will tell it. If I tell us a dot append, if I tell us a dot append, if I tell it as uh, maybe like uh, what I will tell it, 500. If I tell it a dot append 500. If I tell it, it is affecting to a. If it, it is affecting the reference variable, it is not affecting the shallow. It is not affecting to the deep. Okay, that is what it is. It is only affecting to where append and shallow. This is what the first example is. Second example, I will tell it a dot sorry a of a of four dot append if I tell it append I'll tell it as like 800 I will tell it look on here append 0 1 2 3 4 for here I'm appending it right if I tell us like this it is getting effect to a if it is get it is affecting to getting the reference variable it is also getting affected to the shallow copy also and it will not get affected to deep copy because this is different now this is not same now understood so much Understood, understood, understood. Right? I'll just show you the block diagram. I'll just show you the block diagram. For example, the deep copy address is different, right? Exactly. <clears throat> For example, I'll just it as A of A ID of ID of A of four is same thing. ID of A of four is same thing. Wait a second. ID of A of four is same thing. ID of R of four is same thing. ID of S of 4 is same thing, but ID of D of 4 is different thing. Understood this one? D of 4 is entirely different. These three things are same and this is different thing. For example, if I go and if I write the deep copy, the deep copy address will be something like this. Look on here, the deep copy will be like this. This will be 1, this will be 2, this will be 3, and this will be 4. And this will be, I'll tell it as 2000, I will tell it. The address is differing now. Right? So I'll just tell it as like this. Now this is nothing but 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 alternate and 2000. Where this 2000 is pointing to 5, 6, 7 and uh, maybe like or I'll delete 100 I will tell it. Right? This is like this. Now this is called as what? 2000. Now this is called as what? 2000. This 2000 is pointing to over here. Right? This is the object now. This is the different address. Let me tell it as this is I'll tell it 3000. The I'll tell it 3000 here. I'll tell it this one as 4000 now and this is nothing but D deep copy i copied this a i copied this a in the depth that is what the deep copy is and it can go in depth 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 also any depth it can go for it and that is called as what deep copy understood